I am going to beat every single player goblin map using only heroes, no troops allowed. Let's begin with payback, wow. Royal champion, seeking shield, that is all we need. No giveaway prize for that one, but this is where it's going to take a while, particularly burning time on our rough speedrun timer. Royal champion, seeking shield, let's go. Why don't we power through a couple of these lower levels? It is amazing how quick you can take down the early map but this lured me into a false sense of security because the goblin maps get pretty tricky, particularly when I am only using heroes. This is the 10th map already and honestly the biggest thing slowing me down is trying to deploy the heroes, use their abilities so quickly and there's no chance of a giveaway prize just yet but obviously that was only the 10th map. It's also really cool to see that the hero skins are rotating every time I attack one of these maps since I I have the random skin selected. How cool is it as well by the way to see all of the barbarians and archers surviving? I know I said no troops but we have to have the troops spawning from the hero abilities right? Max level heroes still not a test at the moment but let's just say things get a tad difficult towards the end. This made me wonder though how far could I push one of my Town Hall 2 accounts through the goblin maps? Be sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell because that will be a future video. We are on to map number 20 already. I'm getting a little bit better at spacing my heroes out, but it's really cool because a little while ago they added extra loot to some of the goblin maps. So even though I have three starred these maps previously, I'm gaining that extra loot all of the time, which if you did not know, this actually goes into your season bank. Even though you are completing single player maps, it's just a nice little bonus. It's also very useful for me to keep on track of which map it is that I just did because whilst I'm trying to be somewhat conscious on time this one is not necessarily a speed run although it's nice to get a good speed it's really about doing it as effectively as possible and that's why I decided to have the giveaways if I fail any maps just keep the pressure on myself one third of the maps three starred but the latter third is where it gets most difficult in my previous speed run my subscribers said that Grand Avenue is the most difficult so that was in my head a alongside Where Eagles Day and obviously the Dragon's Lair. It's really weird how they have gone about adding the extra loot into the maps. This one, for example, only has 20,000 gold, but 110,000 elixir. I'm guessing they must have mathematically looked at the players that are completing the goblin maps around about this level and what resources they needed, unless they just randomly picked them from the sky. But we are actually not far away from the halfway point and we are about 15, 16 minutes in based on the time I started this recording. Obviously the actual timer is on the screen for you guys, but clearly once we get a little bit further down towards the more difficult maps, things will start slowing down quite drastically. So that is why for the moment, I'm still just able to use my heroes in any spot with their ability then sit back and chill for the rest of the raid haven't even used a single spell yet confidence rising you will see that fall back down but we were gaining quite a lot of loot one we get 170,000 elixir and zero gold. How did they work that one out? Very strange. No idea why they did that, but very generous supercell. Speaking of that, if you are making purchases, you can use code JUDO prior to that. Does not cost you any extra money, but supercell shares some of that revenue, so it helps to support the channel massively, and it's much appreciated, my friends. Honestly, all of a sudden, there is a noticeable difference in the maps. We're closing in on Sherbet Towers, which is the 50th map, and that's all they used to be in the Goblin maps before they added the extra 25. And it's so funny, I remember when these maps were actually pretty difficult. Back when I was at Town Hall 7 and 8, spamming dragons into the Goblin maps to try and get my achievement. I'm sure some of you can reminisce as as well but it is awesome that my royal champion seeking shield at the moment is still one shotting defenses just shows how far the level of clash of clans has came and how powerful the troops or should i say the heroes since i'm not allowed any troops are at this level i was definitely having fun with this one and i'm sure you will enjoy it because so much 
work has gone into it, but it was starting to surprise me how each and every map was getting so much more difficult than the last, and we still had 30 to complete if we were going to beat this challenge. Sherbet Towers, the 50th map, and maybe we have to use some spells in this one. Let's see what happens. King ability, queen ability. Let's try and catch the barbarians and archers within that. And let's actually use the royal champion across to the left hand side. I'm trying to get a gauge as to where the king and queen go and then use the royal champion to the opposite side to try and speed things up since she can still one shot a lot of the defenses. And honestly, the hero extra life has been my savior at the moment because even though my heroes are taking some damage, we're not having to spend gems in order to cook them back up and they barely took any damage in that one sherbet towers completely destroyed 50 maps down no giveaways have been distributed just yet but i am sure that is going to happen i have even one starred these maps previously so let's take a look invaders and it does look a little bit more tricky i think we should just put the king the queen the warden right into the center of the base grand warden ability let's use the royal champion across to the side so far i haven't used the spells either which is definitely going to be something which will be needed in this latter half of the video and i think it's about time to use a training potion maybe even boost my pets since they're not maximum level we've got through the early stages of this so i'd like to think we can complete the rest of them within the hour let's go ahead and do that so training potion and a hero potion i actually have nine of them nice that ends up being a really wise choice because some of the attacks come down to the wire i really had to analyze the bases in order to get the three stars it was more difficult than i thought and i wonder what other challenges we can come up with to beat these maps in the future this one does not look too bad but i'm pretty sure this is the one that trolls us big style let's use the royal champion seeking shield to get a lot of damage to those expos how satisfying was that but here we go oh my goodness all of the skeletons king's ability <laughs> queen's ability oh my word and the grand warden's ability do we use a poison here i kind of feel like we should but there's so many more skeletons getting spawned okay let's use the poison spell now that the grand warden's ability has worn off oh my goodness <laughs> We've still got a bunch of maps to do and they are trolling us. I'm pretty sure I remember a lot of freeze traps in one of these as well. I can't remember which one it is, but I am sure we will find out. Oh, is that a shrink trap? Yes, it is. My heroes are shrunk. <laughs> I love the fact that some of the limited edition traps are still within the goblin maps. I love the limited edition troops and traps that we've had. I've obviously done videos showing both of those, but I wish they brought even more of them. Oh my goodness, this looks like a Town Hall 10 level base with those walls. And whilst I was spreading my heroes around previously, I don't think that is the best call anymore. So I'm 10 to push them in one group trying to save onto the queen ability as well and i haven't really used any spells just that one poison spell in the skeleton run map no flight zone does that mean i shouldn't use air troops or does that mean i should use air troops a little bit tricky to know wall breakers would probably be good on this but we've got cc troops let's get the poison on that so the second spell ever has been used but we cannot have clan castle balloons beaming down onto my heroes they do a lot of damage royal champion seeking shield still doing a fantastic job against these defenses but my king has taken quite a lot of damage this time we are constantly eating into our extra life and i am sure pretty soon we are going to need to gem one of these heroes oh my goodness look at this one i still think the best play is to keep the heroes together rather than splitting them up so let's go king ability let's get the rc in whilst we're using that grand warden ability hmm Hmm, I think we might need to use some spells here, you know, just to try and help them. Let's use a skeleton spell. We can use as many spells as we want. It's just the troops we're not allowed to use. And don't worry, I'm pretty sure once we get down towards the dragon's lair that I will fail one or two of these maps. So your giveaways are safe, but I'm also not going to be throwing here and we want a good time. So we do have to use the spells somewhat wisely. So far, so good. Let's get that poison in the skeleton spell before I forget. The 
59th map out of 75. We've got single target Infernos, so we do have to be a little bit more cautious this time. King's ability, Grand Warden ability, and hopefully all of the barbs get through that, which they do. And I'm going to save my Royal Champion Seeking Shield for down the bottom. Let's use the Queen ability. We might as well. I think we're looking pretty good for this one, but I do want to use the Royal Champion Seeking Shield, see if we can get through these singles. Let's go. Oh, yes! One shot, baby! Royal Champion OP versus the Goblin maps. Let's go! All angle attack. How fitting. Oh, my word! All multi-target Infernos. I mean, a lot of these shouldn't really do a lot of damage to us, to be honest, because with the King ability and the Grand Warden, we should probably be able to just ping through this. Let's use the Royal Champion over here. Hopefully, she can get through a lot of the multi-target Infernos as well with the ability. Hmm, gets them right onto one percent hell but i think we're good without any spells here i'm going to hold off for a little while longer since we've got through all of the or i say all of the trolley skeleton traps even more pop come on just go for should i turn them invisible why don't i do that just get the gold storage we can get the 100 and get out of there burning sensation i love the names on some of these maps and this rock by the way is probably the rarest item in clash of clans i do not have it just you know when you start an account and you have all of the rocks and stones around your village? Well, that is one of them. Let's actually freeze these single target infernos since I'm not concentrating. That was one of the decorations you used to have years ago, but they removed it. So only OG players will have that. But obviously, if that's you, let me know in the comments and bravo, you have something I do not. Oh, we have the first map that I have not Three starred. Wow, we've got an eagle and multiple single target infernos. I kind of feel like a jump spell is needed here just to get in towards that single target inferno, but I don't think it's going to do very much. Grand Warden ability. Hmm. They also look a little bit higher level, so I'm not sure if the Royal Champion seeking shield is going to get through them. We've got plenty of freeze spells and invisibility spells, but maybe we're going to have to start tailoring the spells to the maps as well because jump spells would have been very useful on this one. Multi-target Inferno on the Queen. We've only got that one single. It's on the RC. Let's go ahead and freeze it. And there we go. With that single target Inferno down, we are good. 600,000 gold as well for this one. I will take that, but we need some more goblin maps. Come on, Clash of Clans. It is time. Oh my goodness, I forgot about this map. How many single target Infernos is that? Um, I guess we should use the King, the Queen, Grand Warden. Use the King ability. Grand Warden ability. Come on. Are we going to have to freeze these? I don't know which one's locked on to the King. Royal Champion. Ah! queen ability let's freeze it again we cannot have the king going down this early oh my word there is a lot of defenses here i kind of want to use the skeleton spells hmm let's use them on top of the mortar since the wizard towers are distracted onto my heroes that means the mortar has the dead zone the skeletons can start to do work onto that defense but also distract the others for my heroes Ooh, that was the first close call i feel but still Still looking good. I feel like I'm doing pretty well at the moment, but don't worry. I'm more than confident that I will actually mess up at some stage. Let's actually go with those skeleton spells to distract the single target infernos before they lock onto my heroes. Looking good, looking good. Is that on my king? I can't tell. No, it's on barbarians. Let's use the queen ability just to make sure. Currently, it's on lassie, which is fine. Uh, I'm going to use an invisibility here because I can't tell. And we're going to be able to hit all of the troops or the heroes, should I say say it's so weird doing this without troops but my king is taking a lot of damage ah the single protect the grand warden i think i just about got it oh my word let's use a rage let's use a skelly <gasps> we've got nothing else to turn this single down oh my goodness that was too close for comfort i waited until the last minute to use my spells and that is where i need to be careful i need to be using the spells sooner in order to protect the troops so let's use one of these skeletons and spells for that single target inferno use the king ability and the grand warden ability there's the freeze trap this is the one this is the map with all of the freeze traps we get that single target inferno down queen is frozen uh what do we do here what do we do let's use the rage uh we can use the skelly spell i feel
go once the Royal Champion is moving through to the middle. Oh, the Expo's on the Royal Champion. That's why she's taking so much damage. Let's use the Freeze again. Oh my goodness. Are we going to fail this? This could be the first one. No, I should have done this. There's no way I should have failed this map. We've got a jump spell, but I don't feel it's enough. Come on, Queen, get to the Expo. Get to the Expo. Get to the Expo. Grand Warden is tanking the single. Is the Queen going to get there? Oh, the King is within range. No, he must just be within range. Shoot. Oh, the Queen is. No, why am I not using the poisons? Oh, no, what am I doing? <laughs> One giveaway to you, and we need to tailor the spells to the map and concentrate. Let's do this again. But I brought lots of freeze spells, and I'm going to try and save onto the Royal Champion just a little bit here so that we can have some better protection in the center of the base. So let's use rage spells side by side to try and push us forward into this central area. It's another freeze spell. Let's use a rage in the center. And I think the royal champion seeking shield here could be good. RC shield. Oh, it went the wrong way from the single. But come on, get that single. It's down. Where's my queen? Oh, she's in the middle. Woo. I think we're good here. We just needed a little bit more focus and the spells to be tailored to the base. So now what I am thinking is prior to entering a map, I should start to scout in order to choose the spells I think I'm going to need. That would be wise. No single target infernos on this one. So I think the game plan should be to enter the base We've got two earthquakes in order to hit as many of these ego artilleries as possible. Then we can use the Grand Warden ability. King and the Queen have split, which is less than ideal, but I did bring some skeleton spells to tank for our heroes. Queen going through a wall. Good job, Queen. Let's actually use the skeleton spell in the middle. Royal Champion Shield. Queen ability. I think we're good here. Why don't we freeze the expo just to make sure? Okay, that one was actually a lot easier than the last one. Only nine maps remaining. That is pretty awesome. I think for this one, we need to just attack direct into the base. Grand Warden ability. I should have probably used the skeleton spells just that little bit sooner. I'm going to freeze that single because I'm not sure. Oh, it was on the barbarians. I wasn't sure. And you're far better to double check than lose a hero this early on. Let's use the Earthquakes for the back end here as well. Royal Champion. Oh, we got the single with the Royal Champion. That was awesome. Let's rage. Freeze this. Can we get them both? No. Nope. Oh, we only got one of them. I was being too greedy. Queen ability. Invisibility for the Royal Champion. Looking good. Looking good. Nice. Yes. Woo. This one doesn't look too bad, but with it being called Goblin Capital, I have a feeling that there is going to be a lot of Clan Castle troops. We power through the an opening Inferno Towers. Here come the goblins. There we go, just like I thought. So I brought the poison spells. Let's use the Royal Champion over here. Why not? Let's use an Earthquake over here on the back end. RC Shield. Let's keep an eye on these singles. That's the main thing, is the single target Infernos. That's what got us in that previous map. Freeze that single, queen ability. Freeze that single, RC is hit. I think we're good. We can just wait, right? I don't necessarily need to protect the king here. Let's go, just the expo. And what is that? I think I'll have to count. I'll have the map number on the screen for you guys, but I think there's only about seven maps left. Only one giveaway has been won at this stage, but we are down to the final maps. Pick your poison. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven maps remaining. I was right. Oh my goodness, I only have the Archer Queen. <laughs> That would not be very helpful. So let's gem those heroes. Pick your poison, it says. Oh, I do have one poison. King, queen, warden. And I'm deciding to enter into the splash burst. The reason being, if I can push into the center of the base with all of my barbarians and archers, use that grand warden ability as they move into the center, I might be able to just power straight through towards the single target. Inf oh, I pressed the queen ability accidentally. Grand Warden ability. Let's freeze that single because it's on the king. Let's use the earthquake because again, it is the singles we need to take care of. Let's use a rage early. That was easy. Pick your poison. Maybe it should be swag your poison. We definitely did not need it. 
confidence levels picking back up. Oh, this is the one with the clan castle troops. I remember this one. Feel like we should enter into the eagle artillery. Oh, my royal champion. There's always a hero missing. Okay, take two. King, queen, warden. Get that eagle artillery down so we're not taking extra damage. See which direction they go. And since there's not a timer on the goblin map, we need the troops to stay together. Let's actually freeze these because they're really doing damage onto my king. King ability, grand warden ability. Send the RC in with the queen. Let's actually use the skellies here as well to help out. Hmm, interesting. Come on, take down those dragons. Let's rage here. So the royal champion has gone off by herself. Skeleton spell there since the wizard tower has locked on. Royal champion after the wizard tower is down. And we're good. Queen ability, we can save onto the other spells. Ooh, I was a little bit nervous when the dragons were beaming onto the king, but actually it worked out okay. Oh my gosh, we have all single target infernos, but my plan of action here is to use the king with the ability, the grand warden, earthquakes, and the grand warden ability. Queen, this, oh, we missed a lot of those single target infernos, which I wanted. Let's keep an eye here, let's keep an eye. I didn't bring any skeletons. Oh my goodness, turn the king invisible. He is taking major, major damage right now. Okay, let's rage here. We're okay, we're okay. We just need to keep an eye on those single target infernos. We can freeze this one. King is taking a lot of damage. Come on, we've got a single over there. We're gonna have to freeze this again. We're going to have to freeze it again. Come on, queen and royal champion, get through this area. And I can't use, oh, I'm gonna have to use the queen ability to get that single, push through. Make sure that we are not taking damage from the expo at the bottom. We've got one invisibility spell. We've got the poison for if any skellies pop. Since the queen took out that single, it's looking a lot better. Let's get this poison onto the skellies. Let's turn them invisible. Why not? So that the RC can get to the single target inferno. I can't believe we did that one. We just have four more maps remaining, but two of them I have only one starred. However, flagged for traps. I don't like the sound of this. Let's get the single target infernos down first. Let's take a jump again. That was useful. The earthquake was useful as well to get some extra damage. Do I take a poison? Let's just go with that. I think that will do. Let's go with the earthquakes to get those in prior to deploying the heroes. King, queen, warden. I've actually just noticed there was a gap in the wall, so we didn't have to do that, but we should be able to power through this area. Let's use the royal champion. Once the single target infernos are down, I'm a lot happier. Let's actually freeze these to try and protect some of the barbarians. We probably can push through some of the other defenses faster if we do that. Why don't we use a rage as well? Get through those multi-target infernos and then we're looking comfortable, honestly. RC ability, do not come back to bite me by using that early. What is happening? Why is the king taking so long to get through the multi-infernos? What is that? It is a goblin hut firing back at my heroes. We swagged a bunch of spells that time, but now we have arguably the most difficult goblin map. Grand Avenue. Look at the loot. That will be a nice bonus. I think there's CC troops, isn't there? So how do we tackle that early? We can't lure them with any troops. Let's use the queen and the warden. Oh my goodness, there's a bunch of dragons. Let's freeze them alongside the expo. Then let's actually use the rage, the king, the king ability, and the grand warden ability. Earthquake, earthquake. Oh, let's freeze. Well, that single's on my troops. I don't know which one it was on. It's rage in the center. Skelly here. Oh, I can't see anything that's happening right now. Single is on the yak. Let's actually use the invisibility here. Oh, the king's down. No. Come on, royal champion. You can do this. Oh my goodness. That was not good. Wow. 57%. <laughs> oh my word. Second giveaway prize on Twitter. But we need to rethink about this. Hmm. Uh, we kind of have to attack in towards the dragons first, don't we? Let's actually go with the warden first. Maybe he can tank that area. Area, rage, poison, freeze. Do I need that freeze spell? I don't know. Then let's go king. I think down the bottom to sideswipe with the royal champion. King ability, grand warden ability. Royal champion's down the bottom. Let's rage this up as well, actually. Let's actually turn everything invisible in this area. Ah, we've got the royal champion in range. What is the royal champion doing? Queen ability goes off. Oh, I think we're gonna... That was even worse. Maybe attacking into the dragon is not the best play. So let's go with the earthquake to try and get damage onto all of the infernos here. Then let's go with the jump. I think we can get access to all of that. So king, queen, warden, RC. Let's use the rage. 
King ability. Grand Warden ability. Let's freeze both of these. Let's poison the dragons. Come on, we can get through this. We can get through this. We can get through this. We just need to keep an eye on these single target infernos. Let's rage again. Is that single on my king? Can't tell. I can't tell. I think it is. Let's freeze. Come on. We're looking okay. We're looking better this time. Let's freeze this single again with the royal champion over there. King goes down. We've got a single over here on my royal champion. Where's my queen? What is she doing over there? And the royal champion is going to go down. This is three fails on this one map. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> I have sat and thought about this. I have a plan. Now, the back end of the base, I noticed there's not a lot of splash other than the multi and the wizard tower. So I'm going to use the lightning and earthquake. I think the earthquake may be here to clip the eagles as well. Now, these inferno towers could only be level six because this was released with Town Hall 12. Could we get a damage on the expo actually as well? One, two, make sure we don't miss. Three, come on. Four, oh, we missed the expo, but that obviously must just take one more lightning spell and i think what i'm going to try and do is rush the other two multis if i turn this area invisible i will spawn my heroes onto this area and try and just rush down the clan castle so let's go rage invisibility king queen warden king ability warden ability oh the dragons have come out are you kidding me okay 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 let's freeze can we freeze what can we freeze i think this now let's go skelly skelly Let's rage in the middle again. Hold on to this other skeleton spell. Uh, what's happening? What's happening? What's happening? Okay, Royal Champion taking a lot of damage, but we're looking all right here. We've got two single target Infernos though. That is a major problem. Let's use the skellies there. For the Royal Champion, it locked onto the Royal Champion. I don't believe it. No, I think this would have worked as well if the Royal Champion had have got that single. We're looking close though. Oh, Queen's going to have to, can she, she can reach the Expo. Oh, the other Expo is locked on. Get the single. This could work. This could work. We've got the queen ability. I'm trying to hold it. Do I press it in order to protect the warden? Too late. Too late. Queen ability. Let's not mess about. Get the expo. It's working. Oh my. Oh, the giant bombs. <laughs> drama at this stage i can't believe that worked oh my goodness but we still got two maps where there's even more chance of giveaways that was incredible finally grand avenue is destroyed let's take a look besieged oh okay here we go i noticed that there is ground expos so not ideal for the heroes but maybe i could actually sneak in bat spells towards the middle to wipe out those eagle artilleries i guess we should just probably enter the base all at the same spot. So let's go King, Queen, Warden. Let's hold on to the RC just a moment. I think I'm going to use a Rage spell early as well. So King ability, Warden ability. Let's actually use the Bat spell there before we forget. And now let's go with the Royal Champion. Let's take a look here. Let's actually freeze this. Okay, so Queen's going one way. Let's go with the Royal Champion alongside the King. The Bat spells are working fantastic. Let's get another one in there. And then let's actually use an Earthquake. Let's freeze this. Give the Queen a little bit of help. Bat spells have gone down. Let's use the skeleton spell here. Let's freeze this for the king. Keep an eye on the queen. I think I might rage this area as well, actually. Turn the queen invisible. We're looking okay. We can forget about those eagle artilleries. Maybe the bat spells were wasted over that side. Not too sure. And let's freeze this. We've still got the RC ability. We've still got the queen ability. I think we're going to use the queen ability now. Maybe a poison could have been useful here. Kind of thinking the invisibility we need to use on either the royal champion or the queen. Let's see here. Let's see. Royal champion is probably best, I think. Turn the RC see invisible we've still got that ability as well yes there we go i didn't even realize that the town hall thing was a defense and firing back <sighs> look at all of the loot okay so we are down to the final map. I've already completed it. Zero loot available. Actually, having a quick look here, we earned over 3 million gold and elixir, I believe. But back to Dragon's Lair. Although I have beat this, I have not beat it with only heroes. I'm taking lots of freeze spells for this area. I know there's lots of skellies and obviously the dragon. I think we should save the dragon until last. Keep this entertaining. Why don't we use a... I think a rage spell early with the king, warden, and the queen. Let's keep an eye on the singles. That's really what we need to worry about. King ability, freeze this. Grand warning ability, and we're looking good here. Let's use another rage up top. Keep an eye on that single target inferno. Let's actually use the royal champion onto that area to help out. And I'm being preservative on the spells here. We've got that dragon to deal with. The defenses, they're all in a line. They're not really going to cause us any issue, but let's go. Let's take a look at this. Oh my goodness, we've got skellies already. Let's use a poison. Here's the dragon. Rage, let's uh, poison the dragon. Let's... Uh, 
Freeze it. Come on, come on. Can we turn everything invisible? Don't turn the dragon invisible. That's the last thing we need. Did we turn the dragon invisible? What is happening right now? Get that dragon. Come on. Down he goes. Queen ability, RC ability. Let's turn these invisible. We have done it, my friends. Or oh, let's not speak too soon. Down goes his lair. The timer can stop. Every goblin map destroyed with heroes. And granted, a couple of difficult maps. Some giveaways for you on my Twitter page. If you enjoyed watching, I would recommend this. Have a good one.